Allah Ta'ala loves you. This jannah that we hear about, this paradise that we hear about, is created for, for believers like me and you. And we should have hope in the mercy of Allah. I, I know uh, sometimes it happens that a person has a, he's had a tough time, he's had a hard time, and he's had a difficult time, he's had a sinful time, and he finds it difficult to come upon the right path. Maybe because when he comes into the masjid, people look at him in a strange way. When he comes into the masjid, he feels like he's not welcomed. We should not do this. This Eid prayer is happening. We do not know who the accepted person of Allah Ta'ala is. We should never look down on anybody. The, the day that arrogance comes in our heart, the day that takabur comes inside our heart, know that that is the day of your downfall. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam says that Allah Ta'ala has kept three things hidden in three things. And it's a very beautiful hadith. The Prophet said that Allah Ta'ala has kept his pleasure in good deeds. Allah Ta'ala has kept his pleasure hidden in good deeds. So you do not know which good deed you might do, which Allah Ta'ala will accept, and he will become happy with it. The second is Allah Ta'ala's ghazab, Allah Ta'ala's anger is hidden in bad deeds. So you do not know which bad deed you might do, which causes the anger of Allah, which causes the wrath of Allah upon you. And the third, and the, the very important thing, is Allah Ta'ala has kept his pious people hidden within normal people. There are certain awliya that are... Uh, they, they know that they are walis. They know that they are accepted people of Allah. But majority of the awliya, they do not know that they are, they are awliya. So these people who are raising their hands now in dua, we do not know which persons this child that is in front of. We do not know whose dua might be accepted in the court of Allah. We do not know whose hands are raised and he asks Allah with sincerity. He asks Allah with the depth of his heart. He asks Allah Ta'ala uh, like Allah Ta'ala should be asked. And his dua might be the reason every single person's prayers and duas be accepted in that uh, prayer room. So don't ever feel like just because you're on the right path or you're doing something good or you're praying or you're uh, trying to be a better Muslim that you automatically qualify to be better than somebody else. No. Remember, Allah Ta'ala likes humbleness. Be humble. Try to adopt humbleness. And like Khalid Bayer.